Did you know that the beach water of the Great Lakes ranks among the worst in the nation? In 1972, Congress passed the Clean Water Act to protect our nation's waters and public health. Fast forward 40 years, there is now more than 24 billion gallons of untreated waste and stormwater diverted into the Great Lakes every year. Here is a list of the Dirty Dozen, the top sewage polluters in the Great Lakes for 2010 and 2011. Buffalo, New York, Chicago, Illinois, Cleveland, Ohio, Detroit, Michigan, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Fostoria, Ohio, Fremont, Ohio, Hammond, Indiana, Lima, Ohio, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, South Bend, Indiana, Toledo, Ohio. According to the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago, 6.5 billion gallons of combined sewage were discharged from the Chicagoland area in 2010. That is approximately 32 times more than the total of the 2010 BP Deepwater Horizon oil spill. Detroit dumped 6.9 billion gallons of untreated sewage in the Great Lakes in 2011. Fort Wayne, Indiana dumped 7.5 billion gallons of combined sewage into the tributaries of Lake Erie. This pollution poses serious risks to public health and is a leading cause for the thousands of annual beach closing and swim bans that occur in more than 1,000 of our freshwater beaches along the Great Lakes. The University of Chicago concluded that beach closings and swim bans due to high levels of harmful pathogens like E. coli cost the local economy about $2.4 million each year in lost revenue. To fight back, Senator Mark Kirk of Illinois and Senator Richard Durbin of Illinois have introduced S-147, Great Lakes Water Protection Act. This legislation gives cities until 2031 to build the infrastructure needed to prevent dumping of untreated sewage into the Great Lakes. After 2031, polluters will be fined up to $100,000 for every day they are in violation, establishing the Great Lakes Cleanup Fund for wastewater treatment, habitat protection, and wetland restoration. As co-chair of the Senate Great Lakes Task Force, Senator Kirk is committed to protecting our Great Lakes and restoring our water quality for the 30 million Americans who rely on it every day. To learn more, visit kirk.senate.gov.